According to a preliminary estimate by Central Statistical Office, Poland's gross domestic product grew by 4.9% in 2022, following an increase of 6.8% in 2021. This was largely the result of an increase in inventories. There was also solid growth in consumer spending, especially for basic necessities. This is, of course, the effect of the influx of migrants from Ukraine. Experts from the Polish Economic Institute comment on the latest data. In 2022, domestic demands increased by 5.5% in real terms compared to 2021, which recorded an increase of 8.4%, it also said. Gross fixed capital formation increased by 4.6% in 2022 compared to the previous year. The investment rate in the national economy, the ratio of gross fixed capital formation to gross domestic product at the current prices, was 16.8% in 2022, compared to 17% in 2021. The consumption grew by 2.1% in real terms in 2022, including 3% growth in household consumption, 5.9% and 6.3% respectively in 2021. The impact of domestic demand on economic growth was 7.6 percentage point in 2021, compared with minus 0.3 percentage point in 2020. The impact of total consumption went 3.6% percentage point against minus 0.8 percentage point in previous year. At the impact of household consumption reached 3.4 percentage point against minus 1.7 percentage point in the previous year. In contrast, the impact of gross fixed capital formation was plus 1.3 percentage point last year against minus 1.6 percentage point in the previous year. Industrial labor productivity, measured as output sold per person employed, rose by 8.7% year-on-year, the Central Statistical Office said in release. Meanwhile, employment grew by 1.4% and average gross monthly wages rose by 11.5%. Private consumption fell by substantial minus 1.5% in fourth quarter probably due a lot of fear of gas shortages and cold weather in homes. But let's not forget the interest rate hikes. This is how MBAG analysts comment on the latest data from Central Statistical Office. The PKO bank analysts argue that soft data won out over hard data. Consumer pessimism was not greatly exaggerated. The benchmark for 23 rises a little, but only slightly monetary policy is working. The European Commission has revised the GDP forecast for Poland, estimating that GDP growth in Poland will slow significantly in 2023 and 2024, with the indicator falling at the beginning of 2023. The main factor driving the deterioration of the coming quarters will be the reversal of the inventory cycle, wake sentiment increasing cost pressures, and rising financing costs will wake on private investment growth, especially on construction. On the other hand, public spending on defense and government investment should more than offset the decline in private investment spending. So that total investment spending will turn positive in 2023. Despite rising inflation, private consumption will remain strong thanks to significant support measures, low unemployment and an influx of migrants from Ukraine. According to Polish Economic Institute, last year's 4.9% growth in the Polish economy was largely due to an increase of inventories. There was also solid growth in consumer spending, especially on basic necessities. This is, of course, the effect of the influx of migrants from Ukraine. The slowdown is expected to bottom out in the first quarter, with GDP growth falling below 0.5% and growing to close 1% in the following two quarters. The forecast for weakness concerns both domestic and external demand. Significant economic growth is expected towards the end of the fourth quarter as a result of the recovery in Europe and the start of public investment.